Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome here at the technical forum at the group exhibit Hydrogen, Fuel Cells and Batteries. This year, in the year of 2015, at the Hanover Fairground. Every 15 minutes we'll discuss interesting presentations regarding the hydrogen and fuel cell industry. Also, at this time, I would like to say good morning, good afternoon, hello, ni hao, to all our online streaming guests. We are live streaming from the fair. Our next topic will be the first commercial power to gas plant with biological methanation that is going alive. And we'll hear more about that from the technical sales and product manager of Microbe Energy or Fisman Group. Please welcome with me on stage, Mr. Thomas Heller. Big hands, please. Hello. Thank you very much for your kind introduction. Um, I'm happy to be here. My name is Thomas Heller, and I'm uh, working at the Microbe Energy Fisman Group. Um, and uh, I'm responsible there for yeah, development of projects in power to gas and biological methanization. I will show you a little bit about the Fisman Group and uh, then to go uh, via the ongoing project Biopower to Gas um, and to give you an out view how it, uh, what will be in the future. The Fisman Group uh, is an international operating company founded in 1917 and um, today with more than uh, 11,000 employees, mainly in Germany. Um, Fisman itself is divided into three business units, uh, more or less uh, known within the business unit uh, heating technology uh, about what we are talking today, uh, power to gas, uh, happens everything in industrial solutions. Um, the company Microbe Energy is a subsidiary uh, company of uh, Fisman and is located in uh, yeah, the middle of Bavaria with around uh, 20 employees and we are mainly dealing with uh, power to gas and biological methanization but we are also doing um, test and laboratory um, yeah, applications for biogas technologies. The project Biopower to Gas. Um, this project uh, is, um, yeah, is started up in the uh, end of 2013 and is uh, ongoing until middle of uh, next year. And the project partners are um, the Institute uh, EDE together with uh, uh, energy supplier EIM and uh, the Cube Engineering um, Company. Demonstration plant or bio, bio power to gas means that we are producing hydrogen and we're using this hydrogen together with carbon dioxide in order to make a methanization and to inject it into the gas grid. Uh, in principle, um, the operation of this demonstration plant can be done in uh, two operation modes. I will explain it to, show to you in a few words. Um, this so-called monovalent operation mode works like this, that there is a biogas plant, or it can be also a wastewater treatment plant, but it is a carbon dioxide source. Um, then at this uh, side there, there is a pressure swing adsorption that is uh, upgrading the biogas plant and from which we are getting the carbon dioxide. This carbon dioxide then is injected into a pressure tank and uh, also injected into this pressure tank uh, is the hydrogen that is produced on site with our own electrolyzer. So, in this operation mode, uh, we can upgrade the, um, yeah, the carbon dioxide or the raw gas um, to gas grid quality and therefore we have uh, defined an energy storage system. A second operation mode is called a bivalent operation. Uh, that means um, regarding uh, biogas plants that are not upgrading the gas up to now um, but are uh, producing uh, electricity. Um, they can cut off and uh, stop the production of the electricity and then use this raw biogas um, to upgrade it and to inject it into the national gas grid. What means there is a two operation mode. On the one hand, when there is surplus energy in the power grid, then we stop the electricity production via the CHP and using this 
uh, raw biogas and the carbon dioxide to upgrade it to inject it. And on the other hand, when there is too less electricity in the grid, um, then we are producing electricity and injecting it in the electricity power grid. So we have two operation modes, biogas upgrading on the one hand and energy storage uh, operation on the other hand. How does it look like? Um, the demonstration plant uh, consists of uh, four main parts. Um, there is a first part, this is a PEM electrolyzer. Um, I will show this in the next slide. The second part um, is a biological methanization pressure tank in itself with five cubic meters. Um, there is a third part where it's uh, all process and system control integrated and a fourth part with the measuring and uh, yeah, the mechanical process technology inside. Um, the electrolyzer itself uh, is a self-made electrolyzer by uh, Fisman Group and uh, it, uh, it's divided into three compartments. Uh, in total we can produce with this uh, system in phase one up to 60 norm cubic meters hydrogen. Um, this is done via two stacks uh, with uh, each 150 kilowatt. Um, and in the second phase we will install there a, a one megawatt stack that is filled uh, by one third to a one third megawatt stack. Um, system pressure is 40 bar, um, current density at around uh, 3000 milliamps per square centimeter. Three compartments, one is for the control, the other is for the hydrogen uh, generation and the uh, third compartment is for the process and water treatment. So here you can see the, the, the plant and the location in total. Uh, this is a carbon dioxide source, the biogas plant, and uh, here it this place is installed the demonstration plant and the demonstration plant look like, looks uh, like this. Uh, there is a pressure tank, there is an electrolyzer. Um, here you can see the three compartments and uh, this is a five cubic meter pressure tank of the biological methanization. This methanization itself is done by anaerob working uh, microorganism. They need carbon dioxide and hydrogen um, for their uh, for their uh, organism and then they are producing uh, water and uh, methane. And uh, this, this system works at the best um, at a temperature of 65 degree and a pressure between uh, yeah, 5 and uh, 15 bar. The system operation, um, I, I brought you uh, yeah, a diagram that shows uh, the first day of the injection into the gas grid. And what you can see here is uh, the flow, the input gases itself, the flow of hydrogen with five cubic meters per hour. Um, and in the stoichiometric uh, ratio of one to four, the flow of uh, carbon dioxide. Then we have the output gas side uh, where you can see the um, the methane concentration that is here at the moment at level of 96% and the uh, uh, hydrogen level, uh, the concentration. And uh, the hydrogen level in Allendorf is uh, restricted by the gas operator to 1.5% and this is really um, restrictive. Um, in general we see that uh, it's possible to work with, um, yeah, with some values of 2% up to 5%, but here we have um, 1.5 and it's necessary to be below this limit. So um, then the output flow, this is more or less the same uh, as the input flow of carbon dioxide due to the, due to the chemical process. When starting the process, um, we are turning off the system, we are closing the valves of the input gases and after a certain time also the output flow goes down. Um, the main interest there is that the, the quality of the output gas, in this case it's close, stays stable. You will see this when restarting it, what means we turn on the system, we turn on the electrolyzer, the hydrogen and the carbon dioxide is injected again into the pressure tank and after some seconds, the pressure in the tank is not high enough that the output valve is opening and the concentration of the gases stays constant at uh, 96% uh, methane and uh, yeah, less than 1% of uh, hydrogen. And here you see after this uh, yeah, 15 seconds that the output, output valve uh, opens again 
and uh, this was the first time on the 2nd of uh, March that we injected, sorry, that we injected um, yeah, this gas out of the biological methanization into the gas grid. Uh, talking about um, business models, um, on the one hand it's, uh, it's, defined by, uh, it's defined by the investment cost for such a plant. On the other hand, in the operation, in the, in the OPEX, uh, it's defined by the input uh, power, by the electricity and the price for each uh, kilowatt hour. Uh, on the output side, uh, we have to address um, special markets due to the fact that this gas that is produced there is much more higher than gas out of the uh, fossil production. Uh, what means we are in a level between 15 and 25 euro cents, something like this. So we have to find niche markets and in order to address these niche markets, we have to define the quality of the gas that is different for sure to the natural gas. And the quality is defined by the um, greenhouse gas reduction potential and uh, this is what we are also doing in Allendorf uh, that we are making the certification process, this qualification process of the gas what means we have to find a definition of the of the uh, THG emission in, uh, in gram CO2 per um, in this case uh, kilowattstunde or megajoule and uh, you can see here that uh, there is a comparison between the fossil reverence value and uh, the different values um, dependent on the input power we are using. And uh, the input power dependence um, is shown by different uh, input current qualities, current out of photovoltaic, of uh, wind energy or uh, water energy. And um, at this moment, uh, the calculation is based just on the input power that is used for the electrolyzer. But we, what we have also to do is that we, uh, we have a definition of the current and uh, we have a definition of the power that is uh, used for the complete plant, not just for the electrolyzer. And then we can reduce this um, greenhouse gas reduction potential to a value of more than 90%. And then it has um, yeah, a high interest, uh, especially in the mobility market. And this is what we are addressing at the moment, the mobility sector, uh, where we are working together with a well-known um, manufacturer. Um, but what we also want to find uh, niche markets in the area of biofuel. This is dependent on the uh, end of April when there comes uh, hopefully a new um, yeah, decision out of the EU. And uh, also in the heat market, uh, we are hopeful to find uh, some new models of uh, gas marketing um, tariffs. So you're invited to uh, visit us uh, on the one hand uh, here at the Hannover Fair uh, at Fiesmann, but also to visit us uh, in, in Allendorf um, and to, to uh, show you the demonstration plant um, there. Um, we are currently uh, doing the uh, certification process and um, yeah, the production has started and the test um, operation has started uh, in April. So thank you very much for your um, the tenant and your interest and I'm open for some questions or you can visit uh, me at the stand in Halle 27. Thank you very much. Thank you very much also from my side. Are there any questions from the audience? I see one right here. So I think that in your presentation your process and uh, you use uh, surplus power. So, and I would like to uh, know that the Im economic impact of the surplus power in your OPEX, and also the importance of that, uh, you know, procurement or, you know, getting the, the surplus power for stable operation of the process. I, I understood the question like this: that um, we need uh, constant power input in order to uh, in order to have a constant operation. Yeah. Um, during the, the test phase that is running until uh, middle of 2016, we can operate the plant by uh, four to six thousand hours per year. This is defined by the, um, by the uh, power supply contract. And, um, and then we, during this time, we are testing exactly these 
um, questions if it's possible to start up very fast and to to stop um, very fast and to to um, yeah to fulfill the requirements of the renewable energy sources. And uh, on the other hand, we also want to um, or we will we will take part in the balancing market in Germany, and there we have um, fixed um, yeah. Requirements. Let's say we have to start up within 30 seconds, and to show uh, a power um, a mode that is different to standby. And then after five minutes, we have to be with 100% uh, of uh, of the power at the net. And this is what we're doing there in Eindorf. Is there any other question at this time? All right, then I thank you for this interesting and good presentation. Thank you very much. For other questions, the Wiesmann Group can be visited here in the Hall 27. Straight, is that right? Yes. Just straight. All right. Thank you very much. Once again, thank you very much. And big hands, please, for Mr. Thomas Bye -bye. Heller. Our next presentation will be a little bit longer. We will have an elevator pitch here in five minutes time at three o'clock. We'll have seven different exhibitors all promoting their own electrolyzer. We'll discuss seven different types of electrolyzer. So please, at three o'clock, you're all welcome to enjoy the elevator pitch. The drinks are all in the house. You can get comfortable and have uh, coffee or some water.